Hi, I'm Sat from Apps for Good and welcome to another tutorial on using PhoneGap. So in this one we're going to be building a very simple app and it's going to be based off of um, the MIT's App Inventor tutorial, Hello Kitty. So if you've ever used that one, it's where you have a picture of a cat and you press the, you tap the cat, um, tap the screen and the cat meows for you. Um, so what we're going to do is I'm going to assume that you've followed all the steps in creating a, a an Android app, uh, creating your first, just your basic um, infrastructure that you needed, so just setting up your files and your folders, uh, or you've imported our template one, or you've just copied and pasted your template folder to create a new one. And how to do that is in the previous examples. If you don't know how to do that, or you would like to start from scratch, all you have to do is go to Google, type in phone gap, and go to the getting started guides for Android. Um, so I'm going to copy a template that I've already done, and I'm going to paste it into uh, paste it again, and I'm going to rename it Hello Kitty. Um, so one thing I would say is it's really important that you kind of understand that a lot of the resources are out there for what you want to do. It's just about finding it. There, it would be crazy for anyone of us to try and recreate and uh, learn how to, to tap into the audio files of your mobile phone. It's very complicated to do um, uh, and it would take a, lo a long time to learn and implement. In fact, um, luckily for us, people have already done, done that. And one of the great things about using PhoneGap is they show you how to do that and then they give that code out and it, for free. Um, so I'm going to show you some steps um, on how you can get that code um, and, and and basically tap into that. So the first thing you need to do is go to um, Google um, and just type in PhoneGap and type in PhoneGap API um, and then it, you'll see on the first link it says Apache Cordova API documentation. Um, so API is um, it kind of means like a library um, and it allows you to use other people's library, other people's code uh, instead of building it yourself from scratch. Um, so this is their this is their page. This might look familiar. You might have already seen this. Um, so s what the app is going to do, just to kind of go over this one more time, is you press the screen. Um, and it plays a sound. So what we want is we want a way of being able to play sound. So another word for sound is audio. And if we look on here, we'll see lots of lots of different sections that we can click on. There's one called media, and that's the one we really want to look at because if we just look at the description, it says record and playback audio files. Uh, we want to play a sound, so it sounds kind of right to me. Um, and if you look at this, um, there's a there's a lot of code um, to go through. And one mistake people make is they get lost um, in this when they look at it. Um, you shouldn't do that. You should just focus on what you want and find it and ignore everything else. So if I if I look at this and I don't understand it, I just ignore it. Uh, for now, anyway, and as I progress, I'll, I'll learn it more, or yeah, I'll understand it more, and then I'll be able to get further along with it. Um, for now, we want to learn how to play a sound clip. So I'm just going to keep scrolling down until I see something that makes a bit of sense. So we've got like quick examples here, full examples. And again, that doesn't really make mu much sense. Here we've got media dot get duration. So I can guess that means when you have uh, a media, so a sound clip of some sort, and you want to know how how long it is, then this is the code that you'd use. Again, that's not really useful for me. So we've got media pause, so this is a bit more interesting. This is pausing a sound clip. Again, that's not what I want. I want to just play a sound clip. So this sounds perfect. Media dot, dot play. So it starts or resumes playing an audio file. So if I scroll down, it's got a quick example, which seems to make some sense, but I'm not exactly sure how to use that. So uh, since I've never used it before, it might be a bit of a jump to go from where I am now to using this this piece of JavaScript. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use a full example. And this full example 
it's great it basically just shows you exactly what to do uh, it just means you can copy and paste this uh, so I'm going to copy I've selected it all and I've copied it and I'm just going to paste it into my code and, and work off of that if I scroll down a little bit more you'll notice a few other things it just says Blackberry WebWorks quirks and iOS quirks um, what this basically means is if you were creating a Blackberry app or an iOS app you would need to read this stuff because it would mean that you need to change a few things just to make sure it works luckily um, it doesn't say Android quirk if it did say that we'd have to look into it and just read a little bit more so for now we're okay just copying this and pasting it into our work so I'm gonna go back into my app and I'm gonna go into the index.html file um, I'm gonna paste this in here um, and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna paste this um, I'm going to paste this here. I'm going to get rid of everything that's there and I'm going to paste it over it. So what you'll notice is there's a lot of JavaScript here. And there's nothing wrong with it. That's fine. Um, the only issue is we, I mean, I would recommend having a JavaScript in a separate file. Um, but for now, we're just going to run this and see what happens. So I pasted this straight in. It's got one thing I should check is whether the Cordova is the source JavaScript source file is the same as the one that we've got. And if I look here, it is. So that's fine. So if I play this, we can see what happens. So if I want to play it, actually, what I need to do is run it as an emulator. So I can, I just need to go to run and I want to go to run configurations and I want to select target always prompt to make sure that's selected hit run um, that's it's selecting my Dell streak but what I'm going to do is I'm going to launch a uh, virtual device and I'll show you how to do this in another um, in another tutorial so I'm just going to skip this click on manager click on start once I've selected my one and hit launch and now you notice it pops up on the screen. I'm just going to move this off of the screen for a second uh, while this is just to show you that this is loading up. Now that's started up, I can close this and you no notice it pops up here and I can click on choose a running Android device and select the emulator and I can pull this back in. You'll see it's there. It's still loading though, so it's taking a while. I'm going to let this load and I'm just going to pause the video um, until it's finished loading. So that's loaded up now. <clears throat> so what I can do is I can select that on the emulator and hit OK. And if I bring the emulator back up, um, we won't actually be able to see the app yet until I unlock the phone. So I'll do that. And it will take a few, a few moments to load up. Uh, so there we go. So we've got it um on the emulator um and you might not be able to hear the sound i'm not sure if you can but it's playing a guitar sound so i click stop and it stops the sound so um hitting play plays it hitting stop stops it so that's pretty useful it means that we've got some code that we want to use but it's not ideal. We want something a little bit different to that. We want an image and we want to click the image and we want to play a sound. So I'm going to talk you through how we can take this code and adapt it um, and change it to suit our, our needs. So um, I just paused the video to check if the, you could hear the sound and uh, the good thing is you can. Uh, I also just noticed I was actually using the template folder to um, to do my code in. So I've just moved it from that into a, a new folder, a new project called Hello Kitty. So I'd suggest that you, you don't really change or edit the template folder. You create the, a new project. Uh, hopefully when you were following along, you, you were using it, the, uh, the new Hello Kitty um, folder that I started off with. Um, so okay, so as I said, this isn't exactly what we're looking for. It's pretty good, but we just need to change a few things, and then it would be exactly what we're looking for. Um, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to get rid of this this JavaScript, and I'm just going to put it in a separate f um, separate file. Uh, you don't actually need to do this as well. Uh, this is just, I guess, this is my preference. 
um, but I, I think it's just a good idea that you have your um, your JavaScript and your HTML and your CSS separate in separate file um, and separate files. So I'm going to remove this um, and I'm going to open up my JS file uh, index.js and I'm going to just remove what I originally had in the template file uh, file JS file which is now in the Helicity one and I'm going to paste this JavaScript code that, that I had before and then I'm going to save it um, the next thing I'm going to do is just go to index.html I'm going to copy this Cordova file, uh, this JavaScript that's linked into the Cordova file and I'm going to paste it again uh, but this time what I'm going to do is I'm going to also add in, I'm going to remove the source and what I want it to do is I want it to point to this this index.js which is where our code is and I'm going to change it to js forward slash index dot javascript dot js um, and now that's pulling in our js I'm not really going to worry about the CSS I'm not too bothered about the design um, uh, yet um, but I'll come to that later on um, so we've got our JavaScript in a separate file which is great uh, what we want to do is we, we need an image on our screen <coughs> so I'm gonna um, put an image of a cat so um, um, I'm gonna type in the image um, HTML tag um, but for um, for your kind of reference I'm just gonna explain to you if you don't know how to do an image tag or you weren't sure how to do that I'll quickly show you how you could have figured that out and found that out I'm just gonna bring in um, gonna search image in HTML uh, I'm going to hit image HTML and I'm going to go to the first link I went to which is W3 schools and it shows me um, some code here and it says try it yourself I'm going to click on that and it shows me an example and they've got an image on the screen um, and the source of that image is in a folder <coughs> beg your pardon is a folder in images and the image is called pulpit.jpg and what we want is an image of a cat so I'm going to search online I'm going to search for uh, cat I'm going to click on images and in fact that one will do so I'm going to click on that image of a cat and I'm going to right click it and I'm going to click on copy image URL uh, alternatively we could open the image in a new tag and then copy this here so once I've done that what I can do is paste this in here and hit paste and then submit code click the submit code and it changes the image um, so alt is just so you know it just means what would appear if the image didn't load so I'm gonna say it, type in here image of cat hit submit code um, and the width and height is what I've selected and I think that's that's okay image height image and height seem okay with me so I'm gonna take this code now and I'm gonna copy it and I'm gonna use this code in our app uh, because it works pretty well um, we don't need the Norwegian mountain trip so we don't need the H2s we don't need the rest of this code because we've got that already in our app so I'm gonna click on um, my clips project and well I started writing the code but I'm gonna remove that now because I've got the code from the uh, W3 schools which worked out pretty well I'm gonna paste that in there so that, that that's looking kinda good to me um, code wise but I haven't tested it yet so what I'm gonna do is just right click on index.html and I'm gonna go open with I'm gonna click web browser and I'm gonna see what that looks like and you can see that image hasn't appeared yet which is a bit worrying so if I click on right click and I click on view page source this allows me to look at the HTML um, for that page so if I look at it you'll notice that the actual image that I put in there hasn't, isn't in the body tag 
we've got the sound so we haven't got the image so it must mean that I didn't save the file so I'm going to close this I'm going to close this and I'm going to close uh, this cat image and I'm going to go back to uh, Eclipse file and you'll notice there's a star there so I didn't save it so let's hit control and S or go file and save and now let's try that again uh, by right clicking on image.html open with web browser and we've got an image of a cat if we play the sound we would get the sound of a guitar and if we click the image of a cat nothing happens so we want to change this and have it so you click the cat plays the sound um, so let's go back to our code and see what we would need to change to get that um, if we look at our um, image we have our image and that's a source for the image and the width and the height and after that we have a href so a link although the link doesn't go anywhere which is why it's a hashtag um, in fact they've used it as a button which is fine so when you click on the link on the on click it calls a function so it calls play audio um, and then it plays a song from this link on this website uh, and we could paste this link into Google for example and it would, uh, or Google Chrome or Internet Explorer or Mozilla whatever you use and it would um, it would play this sound as well so what we can do is we can just take this code uh, the on click code and we could paste that into our image URL so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put it uh, if you look at the way they've done it, they've got it, their open tag here and the end of their open tag, it's inside of it. So I'm going to put it inside of our image tag. And since that image tag doesn't have a closing tag, I'm just going to put it inside the tag uh, before it closes. And I'm going to put it after the height and the width. I'm going to paste it in there. Then I'm going to run the code. I'm going to just see what happens. Um, so if I right click on Hello Kitty and I go to uh, Run As and Android application and then I select the emulator so you can see if it works or not um, and if I find the emulator Oh, here's the emulator here. Okay, so the um, song started, but you notice I didn't actually click the image. Uh, the song just started on its own. Um, I'm not sure if you saw that because the emulator was off the screen, but I, I didn't click the image. It just started on its own. So before we look into the image clicking um, feature of this app, let's just have a look at the code and find out why it started up immediately um, so there's nothing on our HTML that would make the song start up so let's look at our JavaScript and have a look at that um, so it should play the audio um, which is play audio when someone clicks on click so if we go to play audio it gives us our, co uh, our code and uh, I mean, you don't have to worry about if any of this makes sense just understand this is a function play audio and it takes a, a variable it takes some uh, a source and that source is the link of the sound of the, the audio clip and it plays it um, so that seems to make sense that when we click the button uh, click the href it would play this and we pause it, it does something, and then when you stop it, it does something, and it stops it. Um, but you'd notice that when the device started up, it played it as well. So if you scroll up to the top, you'll see something that says a function on device ready. Um, and right at the top, it says wait for Cordova to load. So this is waiting for this file, Cordova 2.2.0, to load. And once it loads up, it will start up. Um, it will call uh, on device ready, which is another, which is a function which they've written here. So on device ready, 
will play this sound clip here. So it's actually playing the sound clip as soon as the uh, device starts up. So this is quite cool if we wanted that to happen, but uh, we don't want it to happen. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to comment this out. Um, and now when I start the emulator again, um, we won't have to worry about that happening. So let's test that out. If I right click it and run as Android application again and select the emulator and click OK. And if I just take this emulator here, you should be able to see it load up and it won't play this song immediately, which is what we want. Okay, so we also added in that code before in .html where when you click on the image, on click, it plays the audio track. So let's click on the image and see if that works. Well, it seems to be doing something. There we go. Took a bit of time, but it worked. Um, I'm going to press stop. So the the, the actual delay um, was because we're running on the emulator, and if we were running on a device, it wouldn't really have that. Um, and as I said, if you are testing something like this, you really want to test it on the device. Um, but okay, so it worked, and we can click stop, and it stopped it as well. Um, so we've actually pretty much finished our app. The only thing we want to do is probably uh, really remove these links because we don't want that for now. We just want it to be a, a little kitten that you click. Um, and we want it to be a sound of a cat. Um, so let's talk through how we can do that. So first of all, let's remove these extra links. Um, so we've just got a cat on the screen. <coughs> um, so we've got a link to uh, the cat online and we've also got uh, when we play the audio, it plays the sound of a guitar. Uh, but let's say we wanted, well, what we could do is just find a sound clip online of a cat and then link it in the exact same way we've got, we've got this guitar and it would work and we would be done and our app would be finished. Um, but let's just say uh, the person who had this app, um, they were underground on the train, for example, and they didn't have internet connection then this app wouldn't work because it needs to go online it needs to go on, on the internet so that would be a, a problem or if they were on a plane and they had uh, air, 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 airplane mode on or even if they just didn't want to waste their credit uh, going online and there wasn't Wi-Fi uh, around then they, we would have a problem so how would we remove this sound clip uh, and take it off of the net and have it on our on our actual device. Well, first thing we need to do is find a song or, or find a, a, the noise of, that we want off the internet, so the cat noise, of, uh, and save that. So I've already done that. Um, so I've got a, a cat meowing here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a new folder inside a www folder. Um, and I'm going to call this media. And I'm going to save it here. Uh, so really, this is pretty straightforward. We've got lots of in, we've got index file here. We've got about .html file, and if we want something else there, we just have to uh, put it in in the same way. Um, so I'm just going to drag my um, my the cat that I, the cat noise that I downloaded. This is a WAV sound, and I'm going to place that in media uh, like that, and I'm going to copy the file. Um, then all I need to do is I need to link to it. So um, I'm going to remove this guitar sound like that. And I'm going to type in um, media forward slash cat meow dot wav. And I'm going to hit save. Um, so what this is doing is when you play audio, it would find the folder media and look inside of it, find the cat meow that work and play it. Um, now this sounds pretty simple and it is and it should work, but there is actually going to be an error when I play this. Um, and the reason there's going to be an error is because the way um, Android plays sound clips is just the way this needs to find the audio is slightly different. Um, so to get around that, you just have to write um, a bit more 
uh, of an extension to this so I'm going to do file colon forward for slash forward slash forward slash android um, underscore asset um, forward slash www forward slash and then we can put media dot cat cat wave uh, cat meow dot wav um, so what this is actually having to do is, is having to go to the file uh, where this is located go to android asset and then go to www then go to media and then find cat meow dot wav um, so if you do have any other sound clips you just have to add this beginning part to it and then you can link to media um, and then you can link to your cat sound so if I save this and now if I run this one final time we should be able to have um, a cat meowing uh, once this loads up uh, and all these links should vanish as well so let's see if this works brilliant so uh, as you can see fairly simple uh, but this runs and this can work on your device you can have a go at changing the image have a go at putting in a sound clip uh, have a go at putting in a longer sound clip as well uh, and see if you can change some of the javascript so that when you click the sound clip if it is a longer track you click the sound clip and it would change it it would stop the sound clip as well uh, if you just click on the same image um, so have a, have a go with it see how you get along um, Feel free to, to comment on the video uh, if you've got any suggestions for, f for further apps that you'd like uh, me to go through. Uh, just let me know and I'll, I'll do that. Um, and good luck.